Okay, today we are receiving Paulo to talk about Beats from Brazil. Uh, let's welcome him, please. Hello. Hey, hello. So I'm Paulo. I'm from Brazil. I'm a Debian developer. Um, last year in DebConf in Kosovo, Daniel Lenaro uh, talked about a little bit what was happening in Brazil last year. And now I'm bringing some, some ideas about what is going on uh, since that, that DebConf, DebConf in Kosovo 2022, uh, so until now. So basically we have, we have, work, we have been working a lot as you can see, uh, the especially the Brazilian translation team. Uh, we, started the last, the, we started this year um, joining FOSDEN at the free software event in Brussels. It, uh, FOSDEN took place in, in February in Brussels, and they proposed there uh, a translations dev room. It was the first time we have this kind of room there to talk about translations. So basically we had six talks. Uh, one of them was about uh, how French, French team translate, trans, uh, work with translation in, in French uh, for Debian. It was very interesting. You can, you can go to the archive of, uh, archive of Fosden and see all the talks there. We have one talk about uh, translation in KDE, KDA, and some other some other projects, it's very interesting. Um, in February, we had uh, we had there in Brazil a workshop about how to translate using DDTP DDTSS. Basically, uh, the idea was to teach to newcomers how to use the tool to translate packages 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 descriptions. Uh, basically, we had two days of heads-on via Jitsi, and we have some numbers here, like we had uh, 22 new contributors and 175 translation, uh, translation from new, this new, new uh, attendees or participants, and 261 reviews of Debian, of pack Debian package trans descriptions. <laughs> You can, we have a brief report about it, what, what was going on in that event, and you can see the link here. I will, I, the, the presentation will be available uh, on the future, so probably you can click and see the, the test that we have there about uh, what, uh, what happened there in this workshop. Uh, in June, we had a uh, second workshop, but to work, uh, to translate the Debian administration administrator's handbook. Uh, basically, this is a little different because it's easier because the Debian administrator's handbook uses WebLate for translation, for translate, for, for translate the, the, its page. So it was easier to the, to the people that was there helping. And uh, about, uh, besides these three, three special occasions, we are always working with the translation in Brazil, especially translating the, the main website, Debian.org, and the bits that bits.debian.org, that we always have some news there, so you usually uh, translate the, the, the news from the bits. Uh, package descriptions, PO files for DebConf templates, um, other PO files, like some, some, uh, pay, some PO files for main pages or this kind of thing, our week, uh, Debian week, and the Debian installer. So during the, old, during the whole all the year, we are working on these tasks, basically. Some people prefer to translate their web page, like me, other people prefer to, prefer to translate the package description. So this, we usually are splitting the task to do, and uh, this is some work that we, we need to do during all the year. 
Uh, Debian Brasil was in some, we are, usually we are in some events, like in October last year, we are on really, uh, Fedora 37 release party in Campinas. Um, uh, Carlos was there talking about Debian in the Fedora release. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it, he was very welcome there, I, 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 I heard. In November, to, November 2022, last year, we were in Latinware. It's, uh, today is, it's the main floss event in Brazil. So we, have, we had a booth there where we, can, we could uh, sell some t-shirts, give some stickers, and talk about Debian uh, with, with people that was visiting our booth. And we had um, a talk in Portuguese on how to become a Debian contributor by doing translations. It was in Portuguese because the event is in Brazil, so basically uh, the talk was in Portuguese. And we have some, we have a test about this, this, this occasion that you were there, that again, you can go there to debianbrazil.org.br and see our tests there. In July, we were in Campus Party Brazil, Campus Party is not a free software, but it's, um, it's more, a, more, more like an IT event in general with, uh, with the, a lot of topics that happens there, some in talks that it, uh, usually happens there. And uh, the same way you had a booth, we could give some gifts to, to the attendees, like stickers, cups, liards, and, and other things. We had uh, some workshops there, one of one of them was how to contribute to the translation team, and another another workshop was about packaging. People was there, people that visited visit our booth there could learn about that. We have a key signing party, and again, you can visit our debianbrazil.org.br to see uh, the test there. The, this, these links that I'm putting here, they are in English, the tests are in English. You can read there. Um, other events organiz organized by Debian community. Uh, Mini DebConf Brasilia uh, took place in May from 25 to 27 in Brasilia. Brasilia is the capital of Brazil, and we had a talk about the Brasilia commu Debian community. And you can watch the, the video record, it was very nice. And I put some, some numbers here. We had 100,000 attendees, more than 20. 20 talks and some special numbers. Again, we have a taste there. You can read and you can, you can watch the, the video record from the Brazilian Debian team that it's, it was done here in, in DebConf. Um, probably this is the only main DebConf that we will, we will have in Brazil this year. Um, so another event, we have Bookworm release parties on June, June 20, June 10 this year. So some, some cities organized a local, a local event, like Francisco Beltrão is a city in Brazil, in the countryside, and they organized the event there for the local, by the local community. We have an online talk uh, organized by Debian Brazil about uh, with the release team about how it works to release a new version of Debian and uh, the community Debian XP uh, did, uh, organized uh, um, a talk online too and they talked about, about a lot of topics to, to celebrate the new, the new release. And uh, the Debian Day, uh, this year Debian Day was special because Debian is uh, Debian turned up 30 years, so it was a special celebration. And you have some cities in Brazil organize uh, local events like Belo Horizonte, Brasilia, Curitiba, Maceió, Pouso Alegre, and São Carlos. They organize the local events by local communities. And DevXP, had, they had a talk to online, um, streaming on YouTube. And we, from Debian Brazil, organized the uh, special, special celebration. We had five days of talks from Monday to Friday, from 14 to 18, um, with 10 activities. Um, uh, this activity was 
uh, done by our DDs, 10 DDs, 1 DM, and 3 contributors. It was a very nice event with, as with the talks. And the people could, uh, we streamed it on YouTube and we recorded the talks. So you can visit YouTube on the channel Debian Brazil or you can visit, you can see the talks on peertube.debian. The talks are there, the videos are there. You can watch everything that happened on this, on that week. So basically, there was uh, this kind of bits of Brazil. Today, later, we will have a buff with Brazilians, Brazilian team, Brazilian team, uh, basically folks from Brazil for that area to talk about some ideas do we have to next months and to next year. If you have any question, or you can ask me now or later, my email is here and my other social media profiles on social media. That's it. Any question? So thanks, Paulo. Uh, we are going to take questions now. So if you want to make a question, raise your hand, please. Cool. Uh, nothing. OK, nice. <laughs> Remember, we have a buff later above the Brazil, Brazil community. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock Indian time. So 9.30 in the Brazilian time, 9.30 a.m. So you will be monitoring the channels, IRC, to gather questions and let people participate online. So now let's thank Paulo. Thank you.